somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back that's the answer this is the appleton oak i'm mason quinn folks today we are taking a look at rise of the guardians this one is from 2012 and aside from it being an animated film i have no idea what i'm in for but i'm here for the ride no idea indeed is my sentiment exactly don't know what to expect <laughs> But I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to give this a watch. Oh, I thought uh, I thought you were gonna miss it there, but I sh I should have known better. I'm with these guys. Um, don't know anything about this film, but if it came recommended from y'all, should be a good one. All right, without further ado, let's go. First thing I remember, and I was scared. Then I saw the moon. It was so big and it was so bright. I wasn't scared anymore. This is Chris Pratt. I don't know, but I'm getting Final Fantasy vibes <laughs> of the animation right, here. Right? Yeah. Why I was there and what I was meant to do, that I've never known. This animation's wild. Mm -hmm. Barefoot out on the ice? I'm gonna freeze everything! <laughs> this guy, the, this, the, this, the, this the snow miser? <laughs> oh no. Oh, Jack. Jack Frost. Frost. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Couldn't. Don't want to walk. Dreams where you can fly are the best. Until you fall. Wow. Hello. Good evening, ma'am. Excuse me. Can you tell me where I am? Oh. oh. Wasn't ready for that. My name is Jack Frost. Ah, that's right. The moon told me so. That was all he ever told me, and that was a long time ago. All right, so that was the movie, guys. Yes. <laughs> nice. Is this a Christmas movie? You're <laughs> <laughs> waiting for cookies. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> ah, finally. <laughs> oh, no, oh. wait a minute. Many times have I told you to not? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh. That doesn't look good. <laughs> Can it be? <laughs> this is wild so far. <laughs> Tooth fairy. Tooth fairy. Nice. Hummingbird. <laughs> There's a bunch of them. Yeah. Well. It is our job to watch over the children of the world, to bring wonder, hope, and dreams. And so I've called us all here for one reason. Sandman. <laughs> the children are in danger. <laughs> oh, that uh, was cool. We have kept at bay for centuries, has finally decided to strike back. Do you take a left at Albuquerque? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, it's freezing. I obviously wouldn't have called you all here unless it was serious. The boogeyman was here. Pitch black? Here? Pitch black. No matter how much you paint, there's still egg. Good night. Situation with some eggs. <laughs> 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 ah, man and moon. What is big news? It is pitch. Not afraid of the dark, are you? <clears throat> He's chosen a new guardian. What? I wonder who it's gonna be. Maybe the leprechaun. Who's the next it's guardian gonna, gonna it's be? It's gonna be Jack Frost. Huh? Yep. Jack Frost. 
<laughs> he doesn't care about children. Jack Frost is many things, but he is not a guardian. All right, I think I know where the bunny is. Who do you think it is? Hugh Jackman. That was fun. Hey, win! Take the O! <laughs> hey! Who didn't love those? Oh, kid, my huh? God, those are the best. Now they got all this online learning. <laughs> yeah. yep. Messing Ruin, with our snow days. Ruining snow days for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks interesting. It's a good book. Is this coming to the egg hunt Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> That's like super close. Here we go again. You saw the video too, Claude. The Easter Bunny is real. Oh, he's real, all right. Easter Bunny, hop, hop, hop. Oh. You okay, so? Jamie, huh? Let's see the dog drop the pole. Who's Jack Frost? No one, honey. It's just an expression. Who's Jack Frost? Okay, who threw that? Well, it wasn't Bigfoot, kiddo. <laughs> you see, oh jeez <laughs> he's just decking everyone <laughs> uh oh in the face <laughs> I hit cupcake she hit cupcake you hit cupcake <laughs> oh he put some magic on there yeah. oh at first I thought, I thought she was wearing it <laughs> Oh, oh not good. It's gonna be all right. Is that Jimmy Pants? There you go. Feels like Jack Frost is putting this kid's life in <laughs> serious, <laughs> serious danger. Oh, he's got it under control. And into a tree. Oh. Oh my gosh! It was amazing. I saw. I did a jump in it and I slid under. Oh! Ouch. <laughs> Tooth. What about all the fun we just had? That wasn't the tooth fairy. That was me. Uh, What's the guy got to do to get a little attention around here? Then I was flying down this hill and it was like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Alien has a check mark. My tooth came out. <laughs> all right, Amy. We can hide and see the tooth fairy. Hide, 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 uh -uh. hide. Straight to bed now. Huh? If there's something I'm doing wrong, can you just tell me what it is? No one ever sees me. Tell me why. Oh Freeze up the power Pipe. lines? Mm -hmm. to take out the grid or what? <laughs> oh, is that the Sandman? Right on time, Sandman. Oh, look at that. She's riding a unicorn. Oh, I thought I heard the clippity clop oh, of a unicorn. Oh, no. Bogey man. Precious child. So sweet. So full of hope. It kind of looks like an avatar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. That never gets old. What a pretty little nightmare. Go tell the others. The wait is over. Kind of looks like that horse we saw in the trailer for Venom. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, this is some top-notch animation. Oh, the they... <laughs> <laughs> Boomerang. <laughs> Easter Sunday, wasn't it? That Funny. definitely sounds like huge. You're not still mad about that. Yes. <laughs> but this is about something else. Hey! What the hell are you doing? Put me down! What the... <laughs> just just a, bag. a bag. <laughs> 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 nice. <laughs> Oh, I see you. I've heard a lot about you and your teeth. My, my what? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone want to tell me why I'm here? Uh, it, that, that's not really helping, but but thanks, little man. I must have done something really bad. <laughs> <laughs> you are guardian. <laughs> 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 Look at those shoes. What makes you think I want to be a guardian? Of course you do. Music! No music. <laughs> Each of those lights is a child. A child who believes we 
protect them. When Peach threatens us, he threatens them as well. You were chosen like we were all chosen. Why, why wouldn't he tell me that himself? After 300 years, this is his answer? I mean, what's this clown know about bringing joy to children anyway? You're invisible, mate. It's like you don't even exist. Enough. No, the kangaroo's right. The, the what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bunny. The Easter bunny. People believe in me. Jack, walk with me. It's nothing personal, of course. So instead of elves, it's yetis helping out. I was going to say, I didn't know the yetis were out here making yeah. toys. No, elves were playing with toys. toys. Just let them believe that. Ah, ah see. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you, Jack Frost? You must have something very special inside. Here, this is how you see me, no? But if you get to know me a little, well, go on. There's layers. You are downright jolly. I am also mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> and caring. And at my center, there's a tiny wooden baby. Look closer. What do you see? You have big eyes. Very big because they are full of wonder. That is my center. It is what I was born with. It is my center. What is yours? I don't know. We have a problem, man. Trouble at the Tooth Palace. There's no way I'm climbing into some rickety old sleigh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Look at those reindeer. Look at all that venison. <laughs> 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 Jesus, guy. <laughs> okay, one ride, but that's it. Everyone loves this sleigh. Get it. Oh, fuck it up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's always cool seeing different animated films adaptations of the North Pole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's the, you just have such a uh, an open space of creative freedom. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing that here and it done pretty spectacularly. Yeah. Just I hope you like the loop de loops. I hope you like carrots. That's <laughs> <laughs> the hand with the hands up. It's all into it. Poster. Check out this view. Ah. Oh. <laughs> you do care. Uh, rack off, you bloody show <laughs> rack He said rack <laughs> off. To explore this. <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> what? Oh, the nightmares. They're taking the tooth fairy. Oh. Oh, no. Hey, little baby tooth. You okay? Take over. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh. This is very, very exciting. The big four. Did you like my show on the globe, North? Got you all together, didn't I? Oh. God, I can't picture who this actor mm. is. It almost sounds like Joaquin Phoenix with an accent. Uh. I want what you have to be believed in. Is that Jack Frost? <laughs> I'm going to ignore you, but you must be used to that by now. Pitch. Oh, Shut Jesus. Right back. Come here. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, hey. Easy, girl. That's pretty badass. Uh. Took me a while to perfect this little trick. Turning dreams into nightmares. Dark ages. Everyone frightened. But then the man in the moon chose you to replace my fear with your wonder and light. Meanwhile, everyone wrote me off as just a bad dream. Well, that's all about to change. Oh, look. It's happening already. It's crumbling. Children are waking up and realizing the tooth fairy never came. Oh, man. It's great being a guardian, but there's a catch. If enough kids stop believing, everything your friends protect, it all goes away. And little by little, so do they. It's your turn not to be believed in. I'm <laughs> so <laughs> eggs at him. Oh, it's Santa dual wielding. I was going to say, I didn't have, a, didn't have <laughs> Santa with swords on my, uh, my bingo list for today's. a man after my own heart with dual wielding. 
I'm sorry about the fairies. They put up such a fight. How would Pitch take the teeth? It's the memories inside them. That's why we collect the teeth, Jack. They hold the most important memories of childhood. That's a new take on the tooth fairy mm -hmm. I've never heard. Yeah. And when someone needs to remember what's important, we help them. We had everyone's here. Yours too. Before you became Jack Frost. I wasn't anyone before I was Jack Frost. We were all someone before we were chosen. Are you saying I had a life before that? With, with, a, with a home and a family? Family. You really don't remember? If I find my memories, then I'll know why I'm here. I can't, Jack. Pitch has them. Well, I think we need to fix that. <gasps> oh no, we're too late. No, we will collect the teeth. We're talking seven continents and millions of kids. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, if you help us, we will get you your memories. <laughs> I'm in. All right, let's All right. do it. I tell you to stay out of my way, but really, what's the point? You won't be able to keep up anyway. Is that a challenge? Oh, you don't want to rice a rabbit bite. <laughs> 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 Jackpot. Oh, 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 so you're a bit of a brumby, I might. That's my tool. Sandy, Sandy. Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look. <laughs> 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 Wow, you guys collect teeth and leave gifts as fast as my fairies. You guys have been leaving gifts, right? Oh no! <laughs> Laundromat. The <laughs> candy canes. <laughs> we left the Christmas tree. The lights. They're collecting the teeth. Right down or I'll stuff a pillow with you. <laughs> All your pathetic scrambling will be for nothing. <gasps> Ooh. Freak sledding accident. I wonder if that could have happened. <laughs> Kids, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this was always the part I liked most, seeing the kids. Why did I ever stop doing this? Thanks for being here, Jack. I wish I'd known about your memory. Check it out, Peter Cottontail. You call that a bag of choppers? This is about the tooth. It's not a competition. <laughs> I win. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> can see us well not you oh no uh, not jack frost yet he's still awake sandy knock him out <laughs> <laughs> no stop that's the easter bunny all right nobody panic but that's a um he gonna do that <laughs> he's never met a rabbit like me six foot one and the ancient <laughs> Whoops. Sandy, come on! We can find pet! It's probably not a good idea. Can't you wake him up, Sandy? Must have oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy. Uh oh. Uh oh. <gasps> oh. What? Oh no. Now the story just got a whole we just had a toddler travel somewhere far, far a away. more complicated. Oh, it's oh we can turn them. Dreams. <laughs> I got it! Frost? I spent an awful lot of time with those weirdos. Oh, look at that thing. Whoa! Was that Iron Man 3 with Mickey <laughs> Rourke? <laughs> oh boy. It's a oh. lot of them. Oh. Oh. Wasn't expecting this much action. You know, mm -hmm. visually, this is incredible. You gotta help Sandy. Oh. No! What? Don't fight the fear, little man. He's going to turn him. 
I'd say sweet dreams, but there aren't any left. God, visually, this is just, just mm -hmm. incredible. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, thunderclap! Yeah. Whoa! Let's let her rip. How did you do that? I, I didn't know I could. <laughs> Finally! Someone who knows how to have a little fun. Gotta bring him back, right? Somehow, I would think. I wish I could have done something. Done something? You stood up to pitch. But Sandy would, would be proud of what you did. But in this life, you are a guardian. I feel it in my belly. Well, his belly hasn't been wrong. Yeah. We can still turn this around. Easter is tomorrow. I say we pull out all the stops and we get those little lights flickering again. Oh, look at that! <laughs> my warrant, my rules. Buckle up. Shostakovich! <laughs> <laughs> Buckle up. Is Are they on Easter Island? <laughs> Is Welcome that that's... to the warrant. I'm thinking that's their play on the words. Yeah. Something's up. <laughs> the dual wielding well, kind of boomerangs. Almost a little Wolverine esque what? there. <laughs> Sophie? <laughs> Crikey, somebody do something! Crikey! Oh, look at me, I'm invisible. Here it is. Look at all the pretty oh. little blood and gum on them. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you guys actually hung out with kids? Oh. <laughs> you want to paint some eggs? Yeah? That's a lot of eggs. That's a lot of eggs. <laughs> that's a little strange. Now, nah, mate, that's adorable. Too Christmassy, mate. <laughs> Paint a <them> blue. <laughs> <laughs> Again, after everything he painted blue, it needed to be red. Not bad. Not bad yourself. Look, I'm sorry about the whole, you know, the kangaroo thing. <laughs> it's the accent, isn't it? <laughs> oh, poor little ankle biter. <laughs> ankle biter. How about I take her home? Jack, no. Trust me. I'll be quick as a bunny. That voice, I know that voice. Careful. Uh oh. It's a trap. Whoa. Don't worry, there's, there's still time. We never follow the voices, right, Answer? Mm -hmm. It's like until dawn. Mm mm. Baby, baby, come on. Oh. I have to find out what that is. Oh, now you know. Get you out of here just as soon as it... it's all the teeth, all the memories looking yeah. for something. Oh. Don't be afraid, Jack. It's the one thing I always know people's greatest fears. Yours is that no one will ever believe in you. You're afraid you'll never know why. Why were you chosen? For the answer to that is right here. You want to grab them and fly off with them, but you're afraid of what the Guardians will think. You're afraid of disappointing them. They'll never accept you. What did you do? More to the point, Jack. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Happy Easter, Jack. There aren't any eggs. There's nothing here. I mean, these are my best looking googies, but they'll do in a pinch. There's no such thing as the Easter Bunny. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right in front of you, mate. Jack, where were you? Where did you get that? What have you done? That is why you weren't here. We should never have trusted you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's check the park 
again. Really? Or what? It was a dream. You should be happy you still get dreams like that. It really is real. I know he is. I thought this might happen. We don't have to be alone, Jack. Oh, don't listen to him. Look at what we can do. No, they'll fear both of us. Now, for the last time, leave me alone. You want to be left alone? Done. Baby two. <sighs> the staff, Jack. Now hand it over, and I'll let her go. Oh, power's oh. not in the staff, my guy. It's yeah. within you. Yep. I mean, that's 101, isn't it? It's not about the staff. But he's not going to realize that till the end. Now let her go. No. Ah, right oh, no. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Got to be careful of those crevasses. Mm -hmm. Crevasses, depending on who you want. <laughs> crevasses, crevasses. I make a mess of everything. Oh. Well, might as well open it up now. Mm, I think, yeah, baby tooth, I think, went and got it. Jack, get down from there. Be careful. <laughs> we will. Oh, did he oh, fall he, in the pond? Must have, because in the beginning he came up. Jack, I'm scared. I promise, I promise, you're going to be, you're going to be fine. It's as easy as uh, one, three. Oh, there we go. <laughs> He's gonna go through. Yeah! I saved her. <laughs> That's why you chose me. I'm, I'm a guardian. Boom. We have to get out of here. Oh, he's doing it. Come on, let's go. What, what, what's wrong? None of you can fly? The lights. Oh, it's going after the North Pole. Mm -hmm. Six precious children who still believe in the Guardians. Fine. Jamie. Well, you think and his sister, she saw all of them and played with them. Yeah. It wasn't a dream. And if you are real, then you have to prove it. You don't have to do much. Just a little sign so I know. Anything. Anything at all. Come on. I knew it. Come on, Jack. He's real. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. No. <laughs> Jack Frost. Did he just say Jack Frost? Jack Frost. That's right. You said my name. I think he <laughs> sees you, buddy. Yeah. Wait, can, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> He sees me. <laughs> and you remember when you went flying on that sled the other day? That was you? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to? Um, Jack Frost? <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> Mojite, come back! Jack! <sighs> you okay? What are you doing here? Same as you. The last light. Wow! Jack, he sees you. Where's Bunny? Losing Easter took its toll on all of us. Bunny, most of all. Whoa. Oh, oh no. <laughs> That's the Easter Bunny? Now somebody sees me. I mean, where were you about an hour ago, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> me and you. <laughs> oh, actually, he told me you were real. He made you believe in me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh boy. Get Jamie out of here. Be careful, Jack. Oh, it's getting shades of Neo versus Agent Smith here. Mm -hmm. I was thinking <laughs> Potter versus Voldemort. <laughs> We're on a little different pages here. Guy reminds me of Voldemort. He's stronger. I can't beat him. <laughs> Gotta believe in yourself. There are other ways to snuff out the night. If you want him, you're gonna have to go through me. You look awful. I'm wondering if he's gonna have to do a snowball thing to the face. I, it, pitch black, believe in himself, it, it's like how be, he did it to the kids. It, it's gotta be Jamie. I'm scared. I'm scared. I, I know, I know, but you're gonna be all right. We're gonna have a little fun instead. That's it. That's my center. He's gonna inject him with some fun. <laughs> do you believe in the boogie? Ah! Now let's go get your friends. <laughs> Yeah, he's a bit more powerful than Kez, but I was thinking maybe that I'm hoping that maybe Pitch Black will start will turn the leaf and be like have fun with the snowball fight like the mm. girl bully at the beginning. Yeah, maybe. Oh, uh, I can see. Oh, jeez. Woo, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. They're just bad dreams, Jamie. And we'll protect you, mate. You'll protect them. But who'll protect you? I will. Yeah. I will. Let's go! I will. I will. And me. Uh, uh, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe in you. I'm just not afraid of you. It's got to work, right? Whoa! Whoa. Sandman! <laughs> Maybe that's what he wanted to hear, too? Uh, they do believe, just not afraid. Get them! Do your job! Oh, we got Yetis. <laughs> <laughs> Good eye, mate. <laughs> Good eye. <laughs> the elves. <laughs> the munching on them. <laughs> oh, what a shot. I know what we have to do. Guys, come on. Oh, here we go. He's back. Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Now they can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see a trot, I just think of donkey. Look, I can trot. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> in the face. You have sent them. It took a while, but I figured it out. You're on a naughty list. Think fast. Ah. Oh, <laughs> How do they always get in uh, the face? Uh. They're having fun. No. <laughs> oh. oh, he's afraid. <laughs> Leaving the party so soon? You didn't even say goodbye. <laughs> A quarter. No. <laughs> 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 And that's for my fairies. There will always be fear. As long as one child believes. We will be here to fight fear. Then what are they doing here? They can't be my nightmares. I'm not afraid. Uh-oh. Looks like it's your fear. They smell. What? Are 
ready now, Jack, to make it official. <laughs> <laughs> you are now, and forevermore, a guardian. There we go. Oh, you gotta have fireworks. Yeah. You're leaving? What if Pitch comes back? What if we stop believing again? You tell me you stop believing in the moon when the sun comes up. No. We'll always be there, Jamie. And now, we'll always be here. Which kind of makes you a guardian, too. <laughs> My name is Jack Frost. And I'm a guardian. How do I know that? Because the moon told me so. <laughs> so when the moon tells you something, believe it. Boom. Um. And there you have it. Oh, man. Wow. Was... 2012 DreamWorks. You guys put the work in on this one. Holy cow. I... Uh... We've seen, again, you know, just to compare it to the animation styles of some of the other ones we've seen, for being 2012 and to deliver on this level of quality with, I'm just going to use the word camera angles and shots because I think that's the best way to describe it. But we had, you know, we almost had a few of the Michael Bay spin around shots that we had in here with the animation and they threw out all the stops. So first and foremost, huge, huge credit goes out to everyone involved from a technical standpoint on this because, you know, it's 14 years old and this thing stands up like it was made yesterday. And I don't think that's a stretch to say at all, but a really fun story based on characters that we all know and love. And you're kind of wondering, well, how can you do something different? How can you do something different with Santa Claus, the Tooth Fairy, Mr. Sandman, Jack Frost, uh, so many of the, uh, I don't want to say, you know, fairy tale because that doesn't include all of them, but you know, the, the traditional characters that so many of us know about, uh, how can you put a different spin on it? And we, we introduced the boogeyman, uh, brilliantly played by Jude Law, uh, another guy kind of like Chris Pine I think that's pretty underrated but always delivers in everything that he does so uh, this one was a lot of fun top to bottom and just with you know a relatively simple message I think of you know belief and belief in yourself and you know you can always achieve if you believe in yourself you know that, that sort of thing that's you know pretty common to a lot of movies but I just thought the way it was done was just excellent and we saw, uh, we had such a great ride they took us on. We had the, you know, the, the guardians were slowly, you know, vanishing away, almost like back to the future. Marty looking at his <laughs> hand a little bit there, but, and it just, I like how it came down to, we had, you know, kind of our main story, but then we had the little hiccup thrown in there with Sophia or Sophie going through the tunnel and, you know, who knows where she is, but so they had a lot of fun with that little subplot. And then of course our main story with Jack trying to find out who he was, got to stop the boogeyman, got to make the children believe. Oh, and by the way, we have to go get all the teeth. We have to do the Easter mm -hmm. eggs. So they threw a lot of stuff and I could see where if it wasn't done correctly, it could all get very convoluted and messy, but they did an excellent job from a director and storytelling standpoint of keeping everything in line and make it easy enough for you to follow and not get lost in everything that was going on. Cause they did throw a lot of stuff at us. The, um, the Yetis I thought were just outstanding from a comedic standpoint. Mm. I mean, like, look who hasn't been there. You go through, you get all the work done, everything, <laughs> everything's painted just the way they want it. Oh, by the way, do that in blue. I mean, you know, who hasn't been there? I think anybody who's maybe, uh, you know, either had uh, any type of job like that or even been like a contractor, let's say, oh, you know, I built the house just the way you wanted it. Ah, oh, change that. Oh, I gotta do it all over. But so I like the little bit of comedic timing in there. I like the take on all the characters, how they gave them all, you know, different accents. Of course, Santa had the Russian accent, the Easter Bunny oh, North was Australian. <laughs> well, because he's down under. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, and of course, Isla Fisher did a great job as a tooth fairy. Uh, I like how they were, all the tooth fairies were a little bit starstruck by, uh, by Jack Frost a little bit. Uh, 
you know, again, the handsome Chris Pine comes through even in animation. So, you know, who who could uh, who could uh, resist, right? But yeah, this one was a lot of fun. Again, not an easy one to do to tell multiple stories and some traditional things. How are we going to put a spin on it with these characters with doing something that's completely new and original, which I really loved and appreciated. And uh, everybody just hit it out of the park on this one. Yeah, this was just really wonderful to watch. I mean... Uh, T them taking their own spin on everything from their from the North Pole. I think, uh, Oak, I think you're right in calling it Easter Island, which was kind of fun with that because I love the eggs and that. You had the, the Tooth Fairy had their own had their own little like you know layer, which I love that the teeth kept in the memories so that anytime you needed to be reminded of wonders of childhood and stuff, that's what they're there for. So just the inter the aspect of everything, how that all was, was I thought perfect and well done and just fun to watch this movie and just lose yourself into thinking of you know when you were a kid throwing snowballs i mean granted leaving the studio sometimes we throw snowballs at each other you never know it, it can happen i mean the accuracy though i will say of these kids always oh. getting the face and then just laughing about it i don't know when he when, when Jack Frost picked up the ball, made it where made it look like an ice, ice ball, and like, got him in the back of the head, I'm like, I think he just concussed that kid. Yeah. I didn't think he made him happy and want to have a snow day. But that was what was fun about this too, is that Jack Frost, you know, he was he was upset no one saw him or really knew his name, but yet he could still spread all this happiness, you know, through all children with one simple thing. And it was a snow day. Like even when the Easter Bunny's like, "Oh, nobody really cares." He's like, "Haven't you ever heard of a snow day?" <laughs> and it's like, it seems like Easter gets this much credit. So does mm -hmm. Christmas and the Tooth Fairy. But snow days only get this much. Well, I think we said it during. It, it's like, who didn't love a snow day? Mm -hmm. As adults, you you don't get snow days. You miss yeah. being a kid and having a yeah. snow day. I or mean, if you do, it's got to be real serious. Yeah, like, like yeah. Power for an adult, it's, yeah, it's a real serious. Yeah, like. Uh, <laughs> Where it's a state of emergency, don't drive on the roads in Wisconsin, which in Wisconsin takes an awfully lot. Yeah. But uh, so, you know, it goes back to your childhood having the snow days where, like, you'd check the news. Oh, hey, okay, we have a two hour delay. Maybe. Hopefully, hopefully they don't uh, de ice those roads quick enough or something, or the fog lets up. Uh, so that was what was so much fun about this. But then, how, you know, Jack Frost wanted to find his place. And I love how they said it. it you know, it it only takes one kid to believe, and it can it, we can all come back from it. And j I was hoping maybe for an arc for a Boogeyman, but no. Instead, he got dragged back down below, yeah. beneath the bed, which I thought was really cool that they had a broken down bed, and he that's where he was hiding under was that. So I thought that was really well done. And uh, you know, so like how he said, you know, Santa Claus was Russian, well, North Pole <laughs> was Australian lived down under because he's underground and i just loved every aspect of it and every everyone like from hugh jackman is a fisher jude law alec baldwin chris pine they all did great even the voice of sandman <laughs> no. oh and, and i did like how there wasn't a gut punch in this one so often we have those yeah <laughs> dream works well, was, and we, a, slight, a slight one with him losing with him saving yeah. but he saved yeah but I, I but at least we, he made the save yeah, for him i think we kind of knew yeah that the saves so thankfully I was able to get through this one without a gut punch. <laughs> this was, this movie was brilliant. And I mean brilliant. So one of the things that I've talked about repeatedly with animated films on this channel is that uh, it, it, a lot of the animated films do a good job of trying to present films for two separate audiences in the same piece of work. A uh, film for the children and a film for adults. And this did that absolutely brilliantly. Visually, this movie was stunning. And I, it, mm. I, honestly, I'm a little taken back watching this and then saying it's 2012. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. if, if you would have told me this was released yesterday, I would have been like, wow, this was for, yeah. for 2024. This was visually was stunning. Visually, this was phenomenal. It was a fun movie. It had all the levity. Um, it, as far as like the lessons, and if you've watched this channel at all, you know I love pulling my lessons out. This was another film where it is real. It doesn't matter how old you are, whether you're a small child, whether you're a teenager, whether you're an adult. This movie had just brilliant lessons for everybody. Of course, we love seeing the message of 
the magic of 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 children right like my, my son is almost four and it is it's honestly it's so much fun seeing him you know the believing in santa claus and the easter bunny mm -hmm. uh, hasn't lost any teeth yet but um there's there's so much fun in that and so i think it's our job as adults to help foster that belief and look kids are going to come to a certain age where they stop believing not because and you want it to not be because as adults we didn't do our job to keep that magic alive and i think that's an important lesson here like look kids are going to do the math on santa and, <laughs> and eight billion people look you're going to have the kids where they get to a certain age where they're going to put the tooth under the pillow and not tell mom and dad as the test right um kids are gonna kids are gonna figure it out but i think the important message here is it's almost like let them figure it out on on their own but foster the environment for them to believe and um i hate to get too I don't know. It's like kids deserve to believe. I'll, I'll just leave it with that. You know, we, we live in a rough world right now where there's a lot of things um, going on, a lot of impactful things. And it's like kids should live in a, in a safe environment where they are free to believe and, and free to be kids. And I think as adults, we need to, again, really foster that belief and, and just really... Yeah, I'm not all about being helicopter parents, but when it comes to just, you know, protecting that sense of belief that children have, I think that's very important. Um, man, if you're an adult watching this film, talk about talk about layers. And, uh, and I took quite a few notes for this one. Um, I think one really powerful message is that it just takes one person to believe. Now, in this particular uh context it was one person to believe in all the other guardians and that that not only was contagious but it helped the guardians kind of you know power up i guess you could say or whatever but i think that's so powerful in life and i think that's one thing that we have to consider um when we look at the people around us and when we look at the impact that one person can have on somebody else like look this has been a, a message that's been look it's as old as time one person can make a difference and it's not just and i think the message that this film tells is it's not just one person's actions we know that one person's actions can make a difference something as little as holding the door for somebody telling somebody they have a great smile or, or, you know helping somebody up when they're down i mean these little things we know that we can make a difference but i think sometimes maybe we forget that it's not just about our actions believing in somebody Having one person believe in you, one person, that's enough to completely change somebody's life. Whether that's a business venture, whether that's a goal somebody has in life, whether they're trying to achieve greatness. Um, you know, we're not that far removed from um, the Olympics having taken place. I mean, imagine all those people that had just the biggest dreams in the world. And it just takes one person to believe in somebody. So if, if you can be that person that believes in somebody else, I think that's that's huge. Um, another thing that I thought was a really good message was like towards the end, and I actually made this note before the scene happened, but I made a note saying that bad things are part of life. You just have to be brave. And that was, you know, that was a really powerful message too. When we got to the end and Jamie said, um, it's not that I don't believe in the boogeyman. It's just I'm not going to be afraid of you anymore. And I think, you know, as we get into our teenage years and we get into adulthood, it's inevitable that bad shit's going to come our way, right? Um, we're going to face ups and downs. And I don't care who you are or where you're from, there's going to be ups and downs. And I think sometimes it's like we want there just to not be bad stuff in our life, right? Like we, we just don't want anything bad. And I think like that's not, um, it's not a good way to, to kind of live your life and to go, you know, to go about your days. It's like, you know, there's going to be bad stuff, but you have to prepare yourself and have to find inner strength to kind of, uh, to, to battle that. And I think they kind of, um, you know, they kind of t intertwined that message with the, uh, the, uh, the Russian nesting dolls. And I thought the Russian nesting dolls message was really important the way they worked it in. Because when we think of Santa, it's like we think, oh, it's jolly old. Jolly old, jolly old Santa. And he had the Russian nesting dolls. And 
as he peeled it off, we saw a different layer. Sometimes mm -hmm. mad, sometimes I'm sad. But when we got down to the, the core, and then they brought that back for Jack later, when you got down to the core, it was about at your core, you got to be happy. And I think that kind of, um, uh, again, was intertwined with the message. Like, look, it's okay to have bad taste. It's okay. You don't, there's nobody that has to be, you know, uh, uh, happy go lucky all the time. It's okay to have bad days. It's okay yeah. to be sad. It's okay to be angry. And I think sometimes as, as adults, you know, and we're in some tough times right now, I think we put so much pressure on ourselves to just be, especially with social media, right? Mm. We put so much pressure on ourselves to just be like this, this perfect picture of, you know, uh, of, of what an adult life should look like. And it's, like I said, it's it's okay to have shit days. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be sad. Yeah, it's kind of like inside out where you have to have all those different emotions. Yeah. Otherwise, you will not be ready for life. Right. And, you know, yeah. and that's kind of what they showed here where he had to know that the fear was real and accept it, but just not be afraid of it because otherwise, how do you function? How do you get through? And and again, and the, then they threw the one, uh, another like really, really powerful line at the end like so it, it can it can be tough to believe in yourself all the time right like especially when you're going through it you know and sometimes it's uh you know there's an old saying when it rains it pours and sometimes when you're really going through it and shit's piling up and piling up and piling up um it's hard to kind of see how things are going to end up working out for you and they had that line do you stop believing in the moon or when the sun comes up and of, and of course the answer is no right of, co of course you're going to still believe so even if you're going through tough times even if you know things are bad and it doesn't look like it's going to get better anytime soon you just have to know that like look you believe in yourself there's always 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 going to be the opportunity for you to better a situation and i just with this particular film it was it was so enjoyable on such a superficial surface level like if you wanted to just watch this and not dig for lessons or whatever and just watch it on a very superficial less level, I think this is fun. This is a great one for kids in that regard. A great one for kids who uh, are of the age believing in this sort of stuff. Like look, this might, the, the only audience that this might get lost on a little bit is when they're right at that cusp of, of figuring yeah. stuff out. Um, together. You know, but even then they can, you know, you can kind of get across that the message of just uh, the magic of it all and, and believing in yourself. But for me, this was, um, this was absolutely brilliantly written. Um, you know, I, I saw, you know, as, as we're going through some of our, our, our Wikipedia page to just get who all the actors are and stuff like that, there was a critic that said the story was so-so. And that is like, I, I'm so like on this channel, like so many times I wanna say like, well, I see it from that point yeah. or I see it from this point. Like, I'm sorry, that is where I'm gonna flat out disagree. If, if there's somebody who thinks the writing of this particular film, because I would say of all the animated stuff that we've watched, the writing on this was some of the strongest mm. because of the fact they were able mm. to have just they were able to have a fun superficial level movie but another one that was so deep and i am i have never again i've never seen this before the only critique that i am going to make of this film and it's not even a critique it's just maybe like my insight is i'm wondering if because they made it with santa the easter bunny jack frost if you almost it, if it, it almost like I don't want to say took away from like the message of believing like because I think those are integral characters but I'm wondering if just in like a market I, I don't even want to say the, the writing I'm wondering if like from a marketing standpoint if people were like wait so it's about Santa and yeah, Easter they Bunny sure. and they yeah. weren't sure because generally speaking look generally mm -hmm. speaking when we have Santa and I, I even I don't know if it'll make the cut but in the beginning I said oh it's a Christmas movie because we had Jack Frost and Santa mm -hmm. And then it's like, so generally speaking, when you're going to release a Santa movie, it's you, it's going to be around Christmas, right? And answer, did it say when this was released? Okay, so it was released right around Christmas time, November of 2012. Mm -hmm. But so it's then it would be an awkward time for the, the, the Easter Bunny yeah. and, uh, and an awkward time maybe for... So that's the only thing that I think maybe um, held this film yeah. back a little bit was the fact that they brought up... Um, yeah. Things that are seasonal, well, I mean, if I can say. Yeah, I mean, and I can see that. But I think you know, I think when they say they felt that it was weak on uh, weaker on like a story standpoint, like look, I I gave them all the credit in the world for having multiple stories kind of going. 
but does it have you know the one that you know sucks you in like a how to train your dragon or a coco or a puss in boots or a shrek or something like that no it doesn't it's not on that level i don't think but that's not the direction that it was going no. for and, and we've talked about that before how just because something's animated it doesn't have to go a certain direction and follow the same formula so i think maybe that could be a part of it that maybe that's what they were looking at but either yeah, way i mean it was just about uh you know imagination and like b making kids believe and i think it's it's still a, just a nice easy watch at, at the end of the day answer, why don't you go first so i time? have my score already oh, done and here. like i said yeah it's a nice easy watch i think it's very entertaining it, had made me laugh quite a bit and i give it a 4.4 4 out of five answers and you know i i think it i mean i think it's worth a rewatch i think it's worth a recommendation and i had a lot of fun watching this and it's and it's like you said is it's around christmas but as we all know easter happens during it so it's actually an easter movie <laughs> Like Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Yeah, yeah. So for me, this is a four and a half out of five answers. Like I said, a ton of stuff that was excellent with this, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, the rewatchability is kind of sort of there. I, I think for me, just if nothing else, from a, a stunning visual standpoint, yeah, true. with a lot of fun characters and some of our favorite actors who we love to see doing animated things. Uh, Jude Law did fantastic as a villain. Uh, I always love seeing him and stuff. So yeah that's that's the one for me i kind of went over everything uh with mine in the earlier review so yeah four out of five for me. yeah for 4. me 5. um look if you're gonna have a movie that it's at its core is gonna be about believing in yourself you've got me hooked right from mm -hmm. the get-go um you know mason quinn uh and the one thing i want to touch back in your review you talked about it didn't have like that one gut punch moment and i almost wonder if that's what some people it might take away a little bit from yeah. the film it's not the formula it, it's not the formula yeah. and for me i look at it from a different standpoint this guy over here i look at it from a different standpoint like they just it was just lesson after lesson after lesson after lesson without necessarily that one like super hard gut punch um but for me again i thought this was a movie was so so strong with their lessons and I think look I know this came out in 2012 but I don't care what year you watch this film the lesson of believing in yourself the lesson of facing a world where you know there's going to be bad days and and fears and stuff like that but trucking through and just believing in yourself and and also believing in other people and fostering that belief because we know that's contagious this is an absolute grand slam for me so this is a five for me um, on, on the lessons alone and the way that this film delivered such powerful, important um, statements and, and lessons to people. So, Well, there right. you have it. This was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys had as much fun as we did watching this. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals.